Okay, our first speaker, Nashita was an accounting student at UITM Punca Alam. Her goals for this year are to win the Top Achiever Award in her study and complete the second level of her Toastmaster pathway. Let's all rally uh, behind her and help make these dreams a reality this year. Let us now put our hands together to welcome Nashita with her speech entitled uh, Procrastinating. Have you ever been in a situation where you have so many words to do, but you don't want to do it? Just think of right now, what is the thing that you procrastinate? So what did you procrastinate yesterday? What did you procrastinate the last weekend? What did you do? Now let me share you a story of mine. It was a warm and sunny holiday. Actually, it was my last semester study with leave, which means I am going to face, face my final examination soon. I was very happy to come back home. I prepared my subjects and my topics with very detail so that I can manage my time wisely at home. I came home. I set up my room. I opened my laptop. And I click Netflix. Two hours passed. And then I felt like breathing fresh air. I went out my room, passed through the living hall. I accidentally grabbed the remote and watched another movie for two hours. And then I suddenly remember, oh, my sister wants a cake but the indulgence. Maybe I should do that today. Another long hours is gone. Then I suddenly felt like craving for shepherd pie. It all goes back and forth for the next few days. And in Friday, I, by the time I have the spirit to start study again, it's already Friday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to revisit four subjects. In short, I regretted. I regretted that I procrastinate on my studies, but I did not. Pro I did not regret that I cook and bake not at the right time. How unlucky I was! Even though I have two days gap between each of my papers, I fell sick. I was down with viral flu and need a long bed rest. I cannot study for more than one hour. Plus, with my coughing medication, I fell to my bed immediately after. On the night before my examination, I slept at 8 p.m., hoping to woke up at 3 a.m. so I can continue my revision. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I woke. I washed my head as I felt very dizzy and I sat on my study desk. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I cannot. I continued to sleep for another three hours. It's Now it's six o'clock in the morning. I force myself to wake up because it's today. By hook or by crook, I need to study. Then it's time for my examination. I have I even have the difficulties to even understand the question. I have to repeatedly reread the question because my brain cannot digest. At that moment, my hands were shaking. My legs were shivering. My heads are going wild. My heart is beating fast. And in the next examination, I was coughing nonstop for 10 minutes. That that seriously impacts my morale and my spirit. And then I requested to be isolated in another examination room, but I was placed in front of the hall closer to the invigilators in case anything happened. For those three hours of my examination, I did my best, but I know I could do better. 
I blamed myself for not being able to achieve my target. This is all because of my procrastination that happened during my study week. Leave. I have a goal to achieve a 3.85 GPA, but I only managed to get a 3.72, which uh, it is a very small 0 0.13 margin, but for me, it was so big. And that is also the lowest GPA that I got uh, during my degree journey. So in short, I want my story to become a lesson to all of you. Every action that we take, it has its consequence. You procrastinate now and you will suffer the consequence later. A few days ago, I searched for a quote for procrastination and I found this such a funny quote. It goes like this. Procrastination is like a credit card. It's a lot of fun until you get the bill. Do you understand? Thank you. Back to you, this message of the day. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Toastmaster Nashita, for your speech. Uh, next, uh, let us give a warm welcome to Toastmaster Arifa to give her evaluation for Toastmaster Kasrina. Um, I think for Nashita. Uh, oh, sorry, okay, next, uh, let's give a warm welcome. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, for Toastmaster Nashita. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. So, Toastmaster Nashita, the purpose of this project is for you to aware of your intentional and unintentional body language. So, what I did was I truly focused on your body language. First and foremost, I would like to say that before we went and dive in into the body language part, you deliver a superb, well-prepared speech. You begin by asking the audience, so you keep our interest in your speech. And the way you spoke, it's so clear. It's bring clarity what you are trying to deliver, which is the way you procrastinate. And at the end of the day, you deserve what or to um, the result of your exam. So... That's great. And the bonus point is that you bring card and you end a good move. You, you move to the, a little bit front to the camera and say procrastination is like a craft. It's like a credit card. It is a lot of fun until you get the bills. So it's a creative way, a good movement, um, a well-intentioned movement with a props. So it's a bonus point, a big plus for me and a well-deserving closing. So what can you improve? So I did a little bit um, a carefully watching you deliver your speech is that when you deliver it um, at, at the beginning, I, I, I think I heard you clicking your tongue because you are thinking of um, your speech or some words. And towards, towards the end, there are some intent unintentional movement where you have a habit of opening and closing your hand without any purpose. And another thing is that towards the whole speech, you are in your excited tone and you move a little bit past in your speed. Because when we talk about procrastination, perhaps there is a delay of say procrastination. And when you actually tell us that you come, came down with a flu, perhaps you can show the droggy faces, the tiredness, and the dizzy. You, you may act it, pause a little bit and act the dizziness. And don't be afraid when you say sleep just to sleep in and, you know, um, act it as it is. Um, you feel it. Uh, so if I can put it in a good word is that 
to feel your words, to convey it with your heart. So this is the room of improvement I would suggest to you. All in all, what I can tell you is that you are a good speaker. You're able to deliver a very clear message. You end it with a big wow factor and you keep us interested throughout the whole speech. It's just that a tiny, we see a bit of improvement is that to convey it, take your time to deliver with your heart. All in all, I really amaze the way you deliver your speech. Thank you, and back to you, Toastmaster of the evening. Okay, thank you, Toastmaster Arifa, for her evaluation. Okay. Best project speeches. Do we have a do we have a tie or do we have one winner? Tie. <laughs> we have a tie. Ooh. All right. For best project speaker award goes to Nashita and Iza. We have a tie. All right. So let's take photo together. Hey, all right. One, two, three. Smile. Awesome. Thank you.